Hi everybody, welcome to Fast Home, the most simple task in the world, which is simply putting a ball valve on my urn, but I've been meaning to do this for a while, so I thought I'll probably stuff it up, I'll have a video, why not? So this is my original tap, functions in both the on and off positions, but as you can see, it's got kind of a weird plus shape on the bottom there, and causes the uh, liquid to drain out kind of all funny, and oxygen getting in while the water's hot is not such a good thing. So, I'm going to change it over to a ball valve, get a nice, nice smooth pour out of my urn instead. So, here it is. That's the ball valve. Look at that. That also functions in both the on and off position. Anyway, first things first. These things come uh, with a pile of grease attached to them. So, I'll get the detergent and give it a good hard clean. Uh, yeah. You know, I reckon at least 80% of home brewing is just cleaning stuff. But anyway... Getting right in there with the with the cloth, giving that a bit of a rinse. Make sure she's good and clean, and then I'll um, put it on the end. So get get rid of the old one with the spanner like that. Off it comes. That's how spanners work. And now what do we got? Taking the uh, thing off. There's a little rubber seal there. The um the plumber's tape came already installed. Oh, the side tube's in the way, so I can't have it straight. I've got to have it sideways. So it's going on sideways. Screw it on and. Yeah, a little bit wobbly, so I'll screw it off again. Now I'm going to steal this washer from uh, the old tap. So I'll put that washer onto my ball valve there, and line it up and screw it on, and tighten it with the spanner, and I think we're just about good. So, yep, looking pretty sweet. The other thing it needs is a way to get the hose attached. So I've got this uh, barbed nipply thing here. On she goes. Everybody's happy. So... What do we do? We give it a test. So I've got some water filling up and I've turned the heat on and uh, tested it out there. So, yeah, oh, well, that time passed. Boiling. No leaks here. No leaks over there. Looking good. Uh, so I'm pouring some out to taste later. I'll actually drink that and um, make sure it doesn't taste like the lubricant that comes attached and all greasy stuff. But yeah. Still no leaks, looking good. I reckon we're done. Yeah, good job. I'm going to have this beer, why not, before I have that horrible tasting water. See how it turns out. That's the stupidest video ever, but I can't wait to make my English bitter next week. In fact, here's a preview. It's a toasted English bitter. Look how exciting it is. Yes, I'll follow up this stupid video with a very interesting toasting your grains video. How good is that? Bet you can't wait to see that one. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to all your friends and be a good person to people.